Hi, I'm Jim, and uh, we're here at Auto Dynamics today, and we're going to be installing this K&N cold air induction kit on our 2013 Camaro. Okay, to get started, first we're going to have to remove the original air box from the vehicle. Um, to do that, you just need a screwdriver and a simple socket set, and we'll get started. Okay, first we're going to start off by taking off the engine cover. I uh, just a plastic cover that General Motors puts on to make things look pretty. We'll take it off and get it out of the way. Then you just need a screwdriver and the hose clamp you'll take off and loosen at the throttle body. You do the same with the one at the air box itself. And then you're going to want to uh, remove the PCV valve connection from the uh, air cleaner. Then you should be able to just pull and pry and it comes right off. Okay, the air box itself has two screws that uh, are on the back side and all you have to do is loosen those. You want to make sure that you take everything and set it aside because you may have to reuse some fixtures or some bolts on the uh, installation of the new one. Uh, you unhook your uh, mass air flow sensor and you should be able to just lift up and just pry the whole box out of the car. Okay, now that we have the uh, old air box off, the original one, we're going to install this K&N Blackhawk series uh, cold air induction kit. Uh, to get started with, uh, you just need a few tools. You need a, a regular screwdriver, a Phillips, a couple, a set of wrenches, and a rack, quarter inch ratchet set, and uh, an uh, Allen wrench set. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. Uh, we'll, we'll do some pre-assembly here before we uh, get the kit on because it's a little easier. To, and like I say, it's kind of nice if you have a table uh, to do this because you do have to pre-assemble a few things and it's nice to keep everything together. Okay, first we're going to take the main bracket and it has uh, a, the air filter adapter that has to be bolted to it. So we'll get that on. That's where your Allen wrenches come in the handy. They use uh, button screws to hold and they're stainless too, which makes it nice that uh, they won't rust. So it'll keep it good looking quite a while down the road. Okay, once we got those on and tight, I'm going to take this uh, sort of like L-shaped bracket and uh, it goes towards the inside. Take a couple more of the button screws, stick through with a, a washer and a nylock nuts. Nice with those is you get them nice and tight, but with the nylock that keeps them from vibrating loose. Okay, and also we want to stick this uh, nipple on the end and it'll go into a hole in the frame that has a grommet in it now, so we'll have to pull the grommet out. So this is pretty much ready to stick in. Go ahead, one second. Okay, and another part of the pre-assembly is you put this weather strip around and it helps seal the box up. I'm going to keep the warm, warm air under the hood out. You definitely want to do this first because once the box is in, you'll never get this stuff running around. Okay, first we'll pull the grommet out. See, that leaves a hole. We'll set that aside. Then we take the air filter housing, stick that into the hole, make sure that nothing's trapped wires wise. Stick the rubber on there, put the washer on. Then we'll go ahead and tighten everything up. Okay, we'll go ahead and pre-assemble. We'll slide our mass air sensor in. Um, this one only goes one way, but like I say, you should always check to make sure that you're installing it because they see this has an arrow and it, it goes with the airflow. So you want to make sure you're installing it right because if not, it'll cause you a lot of trouble and headaches. Okay, then once we get the mass air sensor in, we need to stick the nipple in the other side. And that is where the PCV system will be hooked up. 
Okay, once we get all the sensors and the, the nipple in, now we want to put the rubber rubber ends on it. And we want to take and slide it on and slide it and make sure things flush. Then uh, we'll take and tighten the clamps. I like to keep the worm gear part down so you can't really see it. So all you see is the shiny clamp, so it kind of looks a little neater. Makes it look a little nicer. You tighten them down. Okay, now that we've got the oboe installed, we'll go through, make sure we rehook the uh, mass airflow up. Then we're going to take and install the air filter. Get it on, slide it up all the way. And take and tighten the clamp on it. And once we get that on and snug, we'll want to install the PCV system, finish it. Okay, now to unhook the PCV, this is the, the plastic line is uh, hooks to the PCV. We want to go through and you want to turn that line Do you see that little tang. You want to pull the tang towards the middle of the engine and the hose will just pop off. It doesn't pop off if you didn't pull it over far enough or pull it over right. Okay, and then we want to slide the hose on. I'm going to do a little bit of S-bend here. Slide it on the barb fitting down there. Make sure everything's fit and you're all set. Okay, that, that's the uh, install for a K&N Blackhawk series uh, cold air kit. Um, from here, you just got disc, or you want to hook the negative battery cable back up, put the engine cover back on, start it up, let it run for about 10 minutes to the idle stabilizers, and it seems pretty nice. And then you're ready for a test drive.